In this video I wanted to show off some improvements I made to my crystal radio. If you saw my previous video you remember I managed to light up one LED on it. Well now I've got 10 LEDs on it and believe it or not I'm getting all this power to light those LEDs from an antenna. This radio has no battery and it has no plug. And if I tune it just right those lights are incredibly bright. I measured the power going to the lights and I got about 5 milliamps going in there and I don't know what the voltage is but it's uh, the lights require about 3.6 volts to light up so uh, you gotta figure it's gotta be higher than that because of the lights present a load to them anyway I thought that was rather impressive I've got it set up so I can also switch it over to a PA speaker in the shop here and it's loud enough to where when I'm talking to somebody I have to click the speakers off because it's uh, a little bit annoying anyway some of you wrote me wanting to know how do you hook the LEDs to your crystal radio well, every crystal radio nowadays is going to have a, uh, a diode in it that goes to the headphones. This is how I did it. I took the LEDs and I just hooked them from the, uh, this side of the diode to the uh, ground right here. These are my LEDs. And uh, it didn't matter which polarity I used because it's alternating current. RF energy is, is essentially alternating current. So that's how I did it. Now I just thought I'd show off this other uh, antique crystal radio I happened to pick up at a garage sale the other day. In fact, um, this one's called a Ray Tuner. And uh, this little gadget here, this is what they call the cat's whisker. You move it around to different parts of the, of the, uh, I guess it's Galena. I believe that's what the rock is made out of. And uh, of course nowadays the, the cat's whisker has been replaced with a um, germanium diode. So you don't have to move it around anymore. I don't imagine this is going to show up real well here, but that's that's my uh, germanium diode there. That's what you can use to replace the uh, cat's whisker. Now the uh, info I got on how to build this crystal radio, I picked it up out of this book right here. I'd show you the schematic, but I didn't publish the book. A friend of mine did, so uh, I'm not at liberty to uh, show his schematic here. But if you're interested in the book, let me know. I'll show you where to get them. Uh, the other thing I was going to say, you know, I was just thinking about how amazing these crystal radios are. And that, you know, they work much like transformers. For example, if you took two coils, if this were my primary and this were my secondary, just by having alternating current going in this one, as most of you know, I'll end up with a, a power coming out of this one here. But what's interesting about this is that uh, even though this coil isn't hooked to this one in any way, as soon as I use power in this coil, you can actually measure power being taken out of this coil if you had an amp meter put on it. But on a crystal radio, I wonder how that works because you're talking about a radio station that's, uh, in this case, about a mile away from here. So if you had a real sensitive detector on the antenna, do you think you'd be able to measure any kind of power consumption from the transmitter site when I tune in my radio here? I doubt it. In fact, uh, at some point, there's got to be a complete disconnect, especially when you're talking about some of these um, transmitters that send signals up to the satellites. I've heard that in some cases when the signal sent up to a satellite that's far enough in outer space, it can take like four hours for the signal to get there. So I guess it's like creating a ripple in a pond with a rock. Once you create that original oscillation, the primary source can be gone and the oscillation continues. Anyway, just some food for thought. I'm just having a little fun here today. Haven't made any videos on TV repair for a while. I've got to play and recharge every now and then. So there's an antique one there for you. One of the original radios before we had modern technology. Alright, hope you found the video entertaining.